Hello, I'm Mike Ruby, president of New Jobs for Massachusetts, and we're here today with Katie Tynan, an expert in the future of work. Katie, we've talked before about that we fit into this new future of work, where we add the most value. But how do, does an individual like you or me or anyone figure out where they do add the most value? Well, that's a great question, too. And it's really about building a relationship and understanding how organizations make decisions. So when you think about how a business solves a problem, one of the things they look at is how much that problem costs them. So if you're really looking as an individual into how you can find the most valuable work you can do, you need to look at yourself, your skills and capabilities, and then you need to match them with organizations that have these problems that are costing them money. So the way you find your best value is by matching something you can do with a problem that costs a company money. And it's not about dollars per hour. That's not how businesses think about solving problems. They think about how much that problem costs them and how to find a solution. So that's where you can add the most value. That's interesting. But are there obstacles to, to just going around and looking for problems to solve? Well, there are, and change is hard. We have a situation where We've had an environment of employee and employer relationships for a long time. So as we change and transition, different things happen. And one of the things that moves slowly is our education system. So we have an education system that still operates on a farming schedule. We have the summer off. Are we bailing hay? Why do we have that? And our education system also teaches kids how to be employees. We're not yet at the point where we're teaching about skills-based problem solving. So that can be an obstacle. <clears throat> the other thing that we find sometimes is an obstacle is regulation. Our laws also move slowly. So here in Massachusetts, we have some regulations that make it hard to operate independently. They're regulations that restrict how companies can work with independent workers. And they have great intentions to protect individuals and jobs, but at the same time, they're really restrictive in terms of allowing us to move into this new way of working. So those are challenges. But I think what we're knowing and seeing is that the trend is happening and accelerating. So I think you're going to see those obstacles erode over time, which is great news for all of us. That is good news. And thank you for sharing this view into the misty future of work. Thank you very much.